Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Crafts. This is the companion video for the main build video. If you don't care about the 3D modeling and stuff, just click in the link on the top right there and go to the main one. Otherwise, here is uh, how I made the hands and stuff for the base. The hand over there to the left is the hand from my rigged uh, human male. I'm just using it as an example, the same way an artist would use a fruit or whatever. I know there are probably easier ways to make a hand than what I'm doing here, but I want this to be solid, like a statue hand. I don't want that space in between the fingers and the palm, I want the whole thing solid. So I'm doing it this way. That's about enough of that. It goes on for a couple hours. For a thing to put the hand on, I'll just take a cube, cut uh, three quarters of it off because I only want you know the one piece there. Get everything matched up properly. Put a torus in there for a ring for the hand to be holding on to. Use the boolean tools to join it, join the hand to the block, and then just sort of, you know, go through and smooth everything out so it looks like one piece. I'm using a combination of the inflate tool and the smooth tool. I had originally cut the hole in the middle because I was going to put a AA battery pack in the base below it, but that is too big. So this is a whole lot of screwing around and realizing it's not going to work. So that was my original idea, but it's too tall because I'm building this for the Tabletop Crafters United Discord. It has a 4x4x4 four by four by four inch um, build limit. So I went ahead and cut one hand off and then, you know, sized it down. Brought my smithy in there for a size comparison. I'll post the Thingiverse link to him if you guys want that. Put four of them together again. We go ahead and remeasure everything, make sure it's all good. After putting it into Kira, I realized that that was really just too much to print, really, that big old flat thing there. So, what I ended up doing was taking just one hand and squaring up the corners, and I'll go ahead and put that in Kira. There we go, that is a lot more reasonable to print right there, instead of the huge thing with four hands. I'll just print four separately. Then if one fails, I mean, it's just the one. Go ahead and slice it. Doesn't use much material, doesn't take very long. I preview it and make sure that there's no weird holes or anything strange. And yes, I'm using tree supports. By the way, I do this with all my models. I put them in Cura and double check to make sure that there's no weird holes or anything. It 
that does happen occasionally and then I gotta go back and fix that. But this looks good so we'll just go ahead and print out four of these and move over to the foam. If you didn't bail earlier the link to the video where this sculpt is being used is in the top right right now. I'll see you over there.